Good morning, my dear students. I am Muhammad Bahaddin, working as an assistant professor in IS Enjoying College, which is affiliated to Usman University in Hyderabad. So today in these sessions, we are going to learn regarding the plane stress element to evaluate the stiffness matrix. So in this problem what we need to find out for the plane stress element as shown in a figure so we need to evaluate the stiffness matrix assume the modulus of elasticity and Young's modulus value is given here e equal to 210 10 power 3 newton per mm square and Poisson's ratio is given here 0.25 and the element thickness T is given as 10 mm. The coordinates are given in the millimeter. The whole the value it is given in the millimeter. So we have the two coordinate, x coordinate as well as y coordinate. So we have the three noted triangle element: first, second, and third. At the node one, the x one, the nodal coordinate x one is 30, y one is 20. And the nodal coordinate x two is 80, y two is 20, x three is 50, and y three is 100. Clear. Then the modulus of elasticity value is how much is given here? 210 into 10 power of 3 newton per mm square. And the position ratio, how much is given over here? 0 0.25. And the thickness is given here 10 mm. So with the help of constant strain triangle element, we need to find out the stiffness matrix. We need to find out. So we have the formula for the stiffness matrix is k is equal to k is indicate stiffness matrix equal to b transpose so b nothing but the strain displacement matrix b transpose d nothing but the stress strain relation matrix what we can say here stress strain relationship matrix and b what we can say here strain displacement matrix what we can say strain displacement matrix and A nothing but area of triangle, T nothing but thickness of the triangle, clear? So let us see over here, the first thing is what we need to find out. So first we need to find out the value of A. So area of the triangle element, we have the formula is A is equal to 1 by 2, 1, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3 and y3. 1 by 2 because x1 is given, y1 is given, x2 is given, y2 is given, x3 is given as well as y3 is given. Just you need to substitute over here. Instead of x1, 30, y1 is 20, x2 is 80, y2 is 20, x3 is 50 and y3 is 100. Clear? After that, you know the matrix method. First you have to represent positive, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive. Clear? The first one we are discussing about first one so for that reason you need to eliminate this first row as well as this first column 1 80 into 100 it should become as 8000 minus 15 to 20 it become as 1000 here minus 30 minus 30 you need to eliminate this first row second column Remaining is 120, 100 only. So 1 into 100 become as 100. 1 into 20 it become as minus 20 plus plus 20. After that you need to eliminate this first row, third column. Remaining is 180, 150. 1 into 50, 50 minus 1 into 80 become as minus 80. So if after that if you multiply over here, then you will get the answer is how much? 2000 millimeter square clear after that we need to write down the strain displacement matrix we need to represent over here b equal to 1 by 2a b1 b2 b3 initially you have to represent 0 gamma 1 0 gamma 2 0 gamma 3 after that gamma 1 beta 1 just need to multiply over here gamma 1 beta 1 gamma 2 beta 2 gamma 3 beta 3 gamma 3 beta 3 so you know the concept how to write this one so let us see over here i am 
taking this pencil okay so this one we can represent here x1 and this one is our y1 this is x2 and this is y2 and this is x3 and this is y3 clear here then first of all we are talking about which one p1 we are talking is it right if you are talking about b1 then if you are talking about b1 then you need to eliminate this value y1 value clear remaining is y2 and y3 y2 minus y3 we can represent y2 minus y3 y2 is how much is there 20 y3 is how much is there 100 20 minus of 100 become as minus 80 beta 2 is here y3 minus y1 y3 is how much is there 100 minus of 20 so you will get 80 so beta 3 how to represent here you need to eliminate this third row this third row remaining is only y1 and y2 y1 minus y2 is how much is that 20 minus of 20 become as 0 only after that we need to find out the gamma 1 value gamma 1 nothing but you need to eliminate this x1 value is it right remaining is x3 minus x2 x3 is 50 x2 is 80 if you subtract this value then you will get the answer is minus 30 gamma 2 nothing but you need to eliminate this second row this second x2 value remaining is which one is there x1 and x3 x1 minus x3 equal to 30 minus 50 is then how much you will get here minus 20 gamma 3 nothing but you need to eliminate this third one value x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 so here 80 minus 30 becomes how much you will get the answer is 50 mm after the getting the value of beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 you need to substitute in the strain displacement matrix okay 1 by 2 into 2000 so beta 1 value is how much is there minus 80 0 beta 2 value is how much is there plus 80 0 and beta 3 value is how much is there also 0 0 gamma 1 value is how much is there minus 30 0 gamma 2 value is how much is there minus 20 gamma 3 value is how much is there plus 50 here we need to multiply here gamma 1 beta 1 gamma 1 beta 1 th minus 30 minus 80 minus 20 80 and 50 0 clear then gamma 1 beta 1 gamma 2 beta 2 gamma 3 beta 3 beta 3 values how much is there 0 then after that so you need to take the 10 because here all are the 80 80 30 20 30 80 20 is there so for that reason you need to take the 10 value so if you are taking the 10 value it become as instead of 80 it become as minus 8 this is 80 become as 8 30 become as 3 20 become as minus 2 50 become as 5 30 become as minus 3 80 become as minus 8 20 become as minus 2 80 become as 8 5 become as 5 that's it after that 10 by 4000 if you divide then you will get so this 0 and this 0 will cancel remaining is 1 by 400 only so it is considered as equation number 3 after that we need to be transpose so we need to this row convert into this column so that's what we can say as b transpose equal to 1 by 400 as it is this row i am representing in the column this second row i am representing in this column this third row i am representing in this column clear let us see so it is considered as equation number four after that our main intention is that we want to find out the stress stress relationship so we have the formula for the plane stress matrix d equal to e the modulus of elasticity 1 minus of mu nothing but poisons ratio 1 mu 0 mu 1 0 0 1 minus mu by 2 here the modulus of elasticity value is how much is given here 210 into 10 power 3 1 minus poisons ratio is given as 0 0.25 1 0 0.25 0 0 0.25 1 0 0 0 1 minus 0 0.25 by 2 so if you remove the 0 0.25 it become as 
4 how it is become as 4 always remember everywhere you will divide by because we are taking 0 0.25 now 1 by 0 0.25 then you will get the 4 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 then you will get the 1 0 by 0 0.25 become as 0 only okay 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 it become as 1 1 by 0 0.25 1 by 0 0.25 become as 4 0 by 0 0 by 0 0.25 become as 0 0 by anything become as 0 0 by anything should be 0 1 minus 0 0.25 how much is that divided by 0 0.25 then you will get the answer is 1.5 if you divide this whole the value then you will get the answer is 56 into 10 power of 3 4 1 0 1 4 0 0 0 1.5 so it is considered as equation number 5 so after that substitute the equation number 2 to equation number 5 in equation number 1 so we have the stiffness matrix formula k equal to b transpose and the stress stress relationship and the b matrix into area of the triangle and the thickness of the triangle element then b transpose 1 by 400 all the value we are represented in the column and the d 56 just now we got it 56 into 10 power of 3 this one we have to represent over here and b strain displacement matrix 1 by 400 this column you have to represent by in matrix already we have find the b value is it right in the above this b clear substitute, substitute over here okay into area how much we got 2000 thickness of the triangle element how much is there 10 after that this is we have to take here 56 into number of 3 over here again 2000 into 10 by and divided by 4, 400 into 400 clear this matrix you have to keep as it is only this matrix also keep as it is only this matrix also keep as it is only so this is a 6 into 3 matrix and this is the 3 into 3 matrix and this is the 3 into 6 matrix clear if you divide this whole the value then you will get the answer is 7 into 10 power of 3 so this row into this column you have to multiply over here then you will get, get this matrix and this matrix keep as it is only after that this row and instead of this column you have to multiply then you will get this matrix only clear then i hope so because it is mainly depending upon the practice only you have to do the lot of practice okay then you will get more accuracy how to solve this such type of the problem is it right if you have a small doubt regarding this problem please write down in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you dear